Hey Google, define accountability. Here's the definition of accountability. The fact or condition of being accountable, responsibility. I wanted to start making videos on a daily basis because of that word and what it means, accountability. What I wanted to start doing is giving myself a little bit more consistency and holding myself more accountable for like the things I want to do and kind of achieve and, and, and move forward in life with. And I think having a daily vlog to talk about those things will probably be a little bit more helpful because I used to do this and it was able to bring me to a different place. Last time I uploaded a YouTube video, and I'm going to be uploading this video on Instagram and Facebook as well, but the last time I uploaded a YouTube video had to be about like almost 10 years ago and a lot of things have changed since then a lot of things from like what I want to do or accomplish in life and a lot of things changed from that from different friend circles migrating into different new friend circles and meeting new people and heading on different career paths and different adventures and things of that nature and a lot of it was missed because I stopped doing videos and I stopped doing videos because it wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be it wasn't doing what I wanted to do and it, I wanted it to be a career um, to be able to make YouTube a career and it was like proven to a lot of people that it's been proven very difficult to do so doing that I started another YouTube channel, which is called Nerd Torch TV. The, the YouTube channel I'm referring to in the first place is Nitro Hot Music. Um, I used to do music and short films and different things like that. And a lot of that has changed as well. And I think that the new YouTube channel, um, Nerd Torch TV, kind of put me in a better position to understand social media, marketing, business, and things like that. And I think that... Um, I'm in a better space now and I think I'm more comfortable making content now that I can come back to it and and do it how I feel like it should be done and so that's kind of what leads me here <laughs> so um, it's gonna be a lot of like day-to-day -day things of what I'm just doing on a day-to-day -day basis to kind of keep myself focused and keep myself like on the path to the goals that I want to do. So some of the goals I want to do, um, I want to make TV shows. And it's kind of a weird goal to say because I don't really know exactly what does that entail. But it's something I do want to do. It's something I have started on. Um, I've shot a lot of stuff, but I haven't edited and released a lot of stuff. And I'm kind of in that process of learning how to do that. So that's one thing I want to do. Uh, number two, films, movies. Um, I've shot my first feature film called Blood Brothers, and I'm still in the editing process of that. And it's a monstrosity. I have never knew how difficult it was to shoot a movie until I attempted it like three or four times. And this is the final time that it actually hit. And it's kind of weird how it all came together. And I'm definitely going to be making videos about that as well in the future about like how that whole process went. Um, my manga and anime projects, uh, Chief Lo, Journey for the True Master, is possibly, like, gonna be, like, my life's work, you know, it, that, that project is huge, it's massive, um, I thought making a movie was, was crazy, but, like, this is gonna be making an anime movie, which is gonna be even crazier, especially considering the fact that I'm not gonna be drawing it myself, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, like, a journey of me looking to... Uh, it's gonna be like basically me looking to find a studio to work with and basically take things to the next level on a more professional level. I'm gonna try the indie route. Um, it does not work well for me, and so I'm not gonna go that route anymore. And I'm gonna make a video about that as well. But and uh, along the way, I just want to practice um, 
and get better at doing those things. I also want to make videos with my friends and family members um, about like different things in the world, like political views, personal views, religious, like just really just, you know, reflecting on who we are as people in, in the moment of when the camera's on. And I want to make this with the, with the, I want to make this with the goal of uploading it and looking back on it and be like, whoa, this is where we were back then. Um, this is, this would be nice if it grows into something bigger or more than what it is. But for now, it's going to be used as a, I guess like a video diary for me to post something every day and reflection of what my day has been like and what I've been doing. And so... Um, it's not going to be heavily edited. Um, it's going to be beautiful because since I last uploaded a video on my YouTube channel, um, those of you watching on Instagram and, and Facebook stuff like that know I became a filmmaker. And I, I've studied camera angles, lenses, and everything like that. So it's going to look good at least. And hopefully it's going to sound good too. But um, I want to make sure that um, it's too... A level of quality where it's not gonna look janky you know but there will be some janky stuff in there as well because sometimes I'm gonna be shooting on my phone it's not gonna be a pretty camera that I'm gonna have shooting stuff with so there's gonna be that um and there's gonna be like some cool camera angles and photos sprinkled in of, of everything I've, I've also shot because I do plan on shooting stuff on a daily basis um, primarily like I said um, those of you who will be watching you know, I do appreciate that. It's kind of weird. I said I appreciate you watching me um, because um, I think as we have a we have a space of content creators, it's it's getting more to a point where everybody's almost like speaking as if they're a celebrity, and I'm no, I'm not a celebrity, but maybe I will be one day. I don't know. So, <laughs> but like I said, I'm here to make this for me. Um, and I, I'm, it's called, as I'm calling it, I don't know if anybody else called it, but I'm going to call it the Casey Neistat formula. Um, Casey Neistat vlogged every day and I think he had it going for like two, three years. Daily vlogging is a monster, especially the way that I saw Casey do it. Um, there's no way I could pull the, that off of what he was doing. So I'm going to just do it my own way and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh... This is Nigel Manjuri, a.k.a. Nitro Hot Fire, and I'm going to be signing off. Peace.